Hello treasure hunters! In this video, I'm going to teach you the method and how you can find cheap international airfares with Skyscanner. I love shocking people by telling them how much I paid for a certain flight. How much? Basically, if you book your flight early enough and do your research like finding the cheapest airline and destination airport, you can fly almost everywhere for just 15000 or less than $300. Except Asia to South America. I'm looking at your birthday. Alright, now here we go. First things first, you have to go on incognito mode. Later, I'll explain why. Now, go to skyscanner.com. Another reason I love Skyscanner is because they have all the currency available. As you can see, I just switched to pesos with just a few clicks. Now, we are searching for a one-way trip from Manila to everywhere. You can type the option everywhere. Once you click into the destination box, the option to search for everywhere comes up and select it by clicking on it. Next, the departure date, we are going to pick the entire month of January by switching to whole month option and picking January 2020. Then click search. So I just picked January, which is a bit more than six months away from today. General advice is that flights are at their cheapest when purchased around two months in advance or 54 days but while preparing this video i tried to replicate the same type of search in that time window and the prices weren't even close it was way more expensive because in my experience of looking for long-haul international flights two months is way too close to snag a bargain the longer, the better. Also, it may not make sense for you to buy a return if you need a visa. In that case, I would just buy a dummy return ticket and buy my real ticket once I got my visa approved. Now, we are on my favorite page on Skyscanner. On this page, you are searching every flight available from Manila going to everywhere in the world and in ordered by price. Now, the price on this page are not guaranteed. They are estimates. At this point, Skyscanner is estimating the prices and once you pick a place and a specific date, you may find that the price is either much lower or greater than it show here. Now, let's scroll down to find the closest possible European destination. I'm spotting Greece there, but I want to go more Central Europe so I can get a higher chance of seeing snow. Mm, jackpot! Germany! The cheapest flight going is to Berlin. Clicking the result will bring you to the screen where you can pick the actual date. Now, you are at the screen where you can see Pick the actual date of your departure. The price on this page are, uh, like I mentioned before, are estimates. The cheapest date is January 30 at 17,677 Philippine Peso. Select the date and then go to Show Flights to get Skyscanner to actually query the flight and confirm the price. While loading this page, Skyscanner queried all its partner airline to bring us all the deals that it has to offer. The prices are no longer estimates and these are the real prices. Now, as I mentioned on the previous page, all the prices were estimates. So while doing in-depth research, it is worth your while to query all the dates and check the prices. On this page, in order to confirm that the prices are correct and up to date. Now, 12,353 really is a nice price to fly to Germany for even if it's a flight with a long layover. Click book to go to the airline website to make the booking. 
it worth nothing then the price shown here can sometimes also be wrong as they are subject to constant changes by the airline only after being transferred to the airline website can you guarantee the price and yes now that we had been redirected to scoot the price is still there and we can be certain that we can get this price now for the sneaky part of the video and the main reason why we are browsing in incognito, we can close the sky scanner tab and now go directly to Scoot. And because we are browsing in incognito, Scoot will not know that the previous price we were quoted was 12,353. So now we search Scoot for the same flight, Manila to Berlin, January 30th, and Scoot is now querying its own database. Boom! Scott price is 11,302 peso. Oh, look, it added a bit of taxes or us there, but yeah, I don't think it's possible to fly from Manila to Germany and cheaper than that. I would like to point out that these prices do not include luggage or meal. The price may not be good after you add 20 kg of luggage, so scoot often is best for light travelers. You may find a better deal once you factor the cost of the luggage into your equation. Also, of course, there are no meal being served on this flight. You have to prepare or bring your own food and the flight and there is no entertainment. How do I know? Well, I took this flight when I fly to Germany from Singapore. I was so hungry because there is no food served. Yeah, it's just like I feel it's the longest worst flight I ever take. I will only make video for food, so don't forget to subscribe. My parents need money for my food.